jetzt wechseln wir die Perspektive äh, wieder und blicken jetzt äh, in den Bereich aus äh, dem Bereich der archivischen Sicht. Und wir haben zwei Referenten, ein Referent, eine Referentin, äh, und zwar einen physisch vor Ort und eine äh, Kollegin digital zugeschaltet, äh, Professor Wolfgang Zimmermann vom Landesarchiv Baden-Württemberg, zusammen mit äh, Sarah Negumbo vom Namibia Library and Archive Service werden jetzt sprechen über Sicherung und Zugang, Herausforderungen beim archivischen Erbe in Namibia. Bitte schön. Ja, herzlichen Dank für die Einladung, hier gemeinsam sprechen zu können. Und ich bin ganz erleichtert. Herzlich willkommen nach Windhoek. Die Technik klappt. Wir können also gemeinsam unseren Vortrag, unseren Dialog, unser Interview führen, das wir in Englisch führen wollen. Und ich bitte, mein schlechtes Englisch zu entschuldigen. Das war ab, ja. We are very pleased that we could jointly present our archives project to you at this conference. The partners in this project are the National Archives of Namibia and the Landesarchiv Baden-Württemberg. The project is part of the Namibia Initiative of the State of Baden-Württemberg, which was launched by the state government in 2019. The occasion was the restitution of the family Bible and the whip of the NAMA leader, Captain Hendrik Wittboy, by Baden-Württemberg, by the Linde Museum in Stuttgart. Yesterday we spoke about it. The Namibia Initiative is planned to be a long-term cooperation between Namibia and Baden-Württemberg. A numerous uh, cultural institution in Namibia and Baden-Württemberg are also involved. The main aims of the cooperation are, on one hand, the joint historical reappraisal of the colonial heritage, and on the other hand, the establishment of the cooperative partnership projects in cultural field. The cooperation project in the field of archive is of particular importance as per the topic of the conference, Difficult Heritage, as it manifests itself in a special way in the records of the colonial occupation period and the German-Namibian war. Obviously, we are aware that the archival legacy from the German colonial period reproduces in extreme form, the perspective of power and oppression in the terminology of colonialist racism and in the medium of German administrative language of the late Kaiserreich. For me, as a historian and archivist, the question is therefore whether we can succeed in initiating a dialogue about the common historical heritage and the responsibility that arises from it for Germany by looking together, Namibia and Germany, looking together at the documents of the colonial era. Now, after this short introduction, we like to continue uh, that we, uh, we have agreed that we will conduct our presentation in the form of a dialogue between Windhoek and Frankfurt. Hello to Sarah Negumbo. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Can yes. you hear me? Yeah, beautiful. Uh, wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Good morning. First, uh, good morning. First, uh, Sarah Negumbo, Ms. Negumbo, please give us a, a brief background information about the National Archives of Namibia and especially of its uh, collection. Please, uh, you have. Thank uh, you. Uh, a very good morning, good day to you all. I'm standing on the established protocol. Just to answer Mr. Zimmerman's question, the establishment of the National Archives of Namibia, it can be traced back to 1912, when the German claimed Namibia as a protectorate. And to that effect, a central registry office was set up and the filing system was developed. However, the plan to run a fully fledged archives did not uh, fully materialize due, due to unrest war in the country. Um, when the South African administration took over power, they also did set up their own record keeping system. 
and they did inherit records which were left behind by the German administration. The National Archives was then established in 1939 and it was referred to as the Southwest Africa Archives Depot. Upon its information, the archives primarily kept files that had survived from the German uh, administration in Namibia. And these records are some of the most complete and best preserved records, uh, including the safeguarding of the archival records, which were created by the Namibian indigenous communities several decades ago such as the van der Leyck Vette of Rioboth, the Maharero papers, and uh, Captain Hendrik Vetboy papers, just to mention a few. The official National Archives of Namibia was then established soon after Namibia gained its independence, that's now in 1990, through an act of parliament, Act Number no. 12 of 1992, and it was mandated to collect and preserve the nation's history and unpublished documentary heritage, and to support education and research by providing access to the archival resources. To that effect, the records from the German and the South African administration are extremely valuable in researching the past, hence they are respectively preserved. The National Archives is playing a, a major role of providing access to the totality of Namibia's history record. The archival collection include record emanating from pre-colonial history, uh, from the courts, magistrates, local authority records from the German colonial occupation, the South African apartheid era, and the Namibian government. It also preserves literature, especially the manuscripts and work that are not formally published, such as the consultancy report, government publications, maps, plans, audiovisual records and photographs. The archives is housing about 9,000 linear meters of records in total. The database catalog is having over 525,000 items, which includes electronic records, photos, posters, audiovisual media, sound recording, which is mostly about the oral history, maps, plans, microfilm, including published materials uh, such as books, articles, and biographies. Therefore, accessing of these records by the general public serve as a basic for research, for resolving conflicts and court cases, and they are also a resource for all users and the media. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nibungo, Nibung, Nikumbo. And what are some of the challenges encountered in the management of the cultural and archival heritage in Namibia today? Yeah, when, it, when it comes to the challenges encountered in the management of cultural and archival heritage in Namibia, I would say cultural heritage is the legacy the Namibian people have inherited from the previous generations. And it is indeed the collection of sites, objects, and traditional that brings together the arts and history and all the valuable of different cultures around Namibia. This cultural heritage consists of both tangible and intangible heritage. However, there are challenges that are being encountered in the management of uh, tangible heritage. That is now the lack of uh, conservation and the restoration expertise that ought to take a uh, to make a significant contribution in the repairing of the damaged artifacts. These challenges are so because the local training institutions that are offering trainings in records management are focusing more on the theoretical part with very little practicality or rather no sufficient specialization in conservation uh, and the restoration in order to restore fragile archival materials. It is also worth mentioning that storing of archival heritage in various media has also become a challenge due to media obsolete. And the migration of the records to the latest media posed more challenges as the records are getting older. For instance, photos are fading away, films are getting brittle, videotapes are deteriorating, papers are crumbling and tearing, 
and the electronic records are becoming inaccessible through hardware and software. Moving on, uh, digitization of various archival heritage materials such as slides, videos, sound recording is also quite a challenge. The challenge is caused by the unavailability of equipment and expertise to perform the migration of information from analog to digital format. Uh, despite the mentioned challenges, the staff members are trying their level best to digitize the records with the available equipment and also to safeguard um, and preserve the records for the future generation. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Negumbo. And another question, what is the significance of the German colonial records in the National Archives of Namibia? It's a large part of the archives. Who is mostly using these records? Are the records used more by the German-speaking users only, or would you say it is used by all interested users? Uh, thank you. The significance of the German colonial records in the National Archives of Namibia is very fundamental. As death records are historical records which form part of Namibia's past and future documentary heritage. By preserving and providing access to these archival records, it is a process that is adding value to the body of knowledge. It promotes transparency, good governance to the general public, and it supports education and research needs. Um, the records are further a demonstration of how the German government played a role into the infrastructure and cultural development in Namibia. For example, um, the construction of buildings with German architectural design are currently observed in Namibia, the laid waste, dams, harbor, and streets in Namibia. If one would like to trace a lot of changes that have occurred during the German colonial era, one would have to look into the German colonial records. Given the history of this country, the National Archives is also having the archival collection called Central Bureau Kaiserlichen Government. Um, we refer to it as the ZBU collection, and uh, it consists of the German original records. And this collection is very key because it covers the genocide of the Namas and the Hereros. In addition to that, there's also uh, a blue book which was written by the South African administration, documenting and capturing how the German were mal maltreating the natives. The blue book also covered the genocide. The ZBU and the blue book are usually utilized uh, by the researchers that are interested in unpacking of the genocide. And mostly they are used by the scholars and individuals, researchers who are interested into the Namibian history in totality. I would say that the German records in the National Archives of Namibia are used by all interested researchers. They are used by the general archives users, local and international researchers, and mostly by the German speaking users and the other interested researchers. What is observed uh, is that quite a number of the German speaking users are using uh, German colonial records, especially the Germans that are researching about their family uh, lineage. In addition to that, I would also uh, like to highlight that a number of uh, German, student uni uh, German university students are also uh, doing their master's degree and PhDs on topics related to German colonial records that are found in the National Archives. So they do reach out to us or they come in uh, to do research and we assist them with the information. And at the end of the day, they also uh, submit their thesis with us. So the, the thesis um, can be also accessed at the National Archives uh, of Namibia. What is further observed is that there is a challenge when it comes to the usage of these records. That is the language barrier, because some of these, some of the users often require language translation assistance, due to the fact that the German colonial records are written in this and not in English, which is an official language in Namibia. To that effect, we are looking at the possibility of translating these records into English 
It is going to be a huge task. However, it can be considered pending the availability of funds and other resources. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nikumbo. And um, now as our cooperation pro uh, project, given that the Landesarchiv Baden-Württemberg and the National Archives of Namibia signed a memorandum of understanding on the staff exchange and skills transfer. And what your side, what are the two institutions planning to achieve through this cooperative project? Please. Thank you. Uh, the National Archives of Namibia and the Landes uh, Baden-Württemberg is signed a memorandum of understanding on the staff exchange and skills transfer on the 7th of February 2020 in Venduk, Namibia. The two institutions plan to achieve several key main objectives, which would guarantee permanent preservation of the historical sources and also to en enhance access to the national records. Just to highlight a few of the objectives of the Memorandum of Understanding, we intend to build the knowledge and skills of the archivists and the, that of the records officials that are involved, especially in the conservation, preservation, restoration of records, and also to ensure fully digitization of rec the records. And since the growth of the archives and records management profession is also moving at a rapid pace in terms of embracing information and communication technology, we are also envisioning that through this cooperation project, the skills and knowledge gained will help the National Archives of Namibia staff member to acquire new trend and also to acquire our world best practices models in order to enhance service delivery to the archives user. The cooperative project will also uh, serve as a network system for all professional and stakeholder involved. Uh, Mr. Zimmerman, since the cooperation is between the two institutions, which is now our institution, the National Archives of Namibia and the Landes Archive, perhaps you could also add more on what the two institutions are planning to achieve through this cooperation from your perspective. For us, the joint project represents an exciting challenge. The already cited goal of a skill transfer does not mean that our working methods and standards are simply transferred to the National Archives of Namibia. The administrative framework conditions as well as the institutional and personal requirements are different. Therefore, we have to define the fields of action together and look for solutions. And this is the process we are currently engaged in. Firstly, this joint search concerns all areas of professional archival work from preservation to digitalization. But it also requires critical thinking about the historical implications of the cooperation project. We have learned very quickly that we must not reduce Namibia's history to the period of colonial occupation, but that we should also take into account in a special way the tradition that has emerged since Namibia's independence in 1990. We had to learn it. <laughs> we have the focus on the colonial period, of course, when we go to, when we uh, go, uh, went last year to, to Windhoek. But The last question, the last answer to you, Ms. Nebungo, Nekumbo. In conclusion, what are your thoughts on the partnerships, partnership agreement between the Landesarchiv Baden-Württemberg and the National Archives of Namibia? Please. Uh, my last thoughts on the partnership agreement between the Landes uh, Baden-Württemberg and the National Archives of Namibia. Perhaps I would... Uh, I would like to inform the participants that ever since the signing of the of this partnership agreement, a lot of activities already took place. For example, the two parties had several planning sessions, and we have we have already had our first training in March uh, 2020 on how to clean and restore archival maps collection. So we were given a training. Uh, it was carried uh, at the National Archives of Namibia by the preservation specialist archivist from the Landes Archive. 
The staff members from the National Archives of Namibia benefited greatly from this training, and more trainings are still to come. We are indeed looking forward to the full implementation of the project, and we would like to assure the German government that we are committed to the project. We are surely strengthening their cooperation be between the two countries, and at the same time, we are strengthening the unique historical and cultural heritage we are sharing. I thank you very much for this opportunity to share our contribution. Have a blessed day. Thank you once more. Thank you very much, Sarah Nikumbu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Negumbo. Um, because of the, uh, uh, the, the digital and analog uh, uh, situation, I think if there are questions to you, I would like to invite uh, uh, the persons present here now to pose these questions now. Um, uh, it makes it a little bit easier for our uh, technicians. So, when Sie Fragen haben uh, an uh, Mrs. Negumbo, uh, dann wäre jetzt die Gelegenheit. Herr Zimmermann steht nachher auch noch zur Verfügung, aber uh, wenn direkte Fragen sind, dann vielleicht jetzt. Hier ist eine Frage. Thank you very much for your um, phrases and um, information. Just a minor question, technical question. Where did you get your uh, training for this job? You mentioned the training you got from uh, um, Baden-Württemberg. Where did you get this training? Did you go abroad to get your knowledge and so on? Thanks. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the question. Um, in Namibia, we have a uh, uh, two major training uh, universities, and they are offering training uh, in records management and also library science. So what happens is a lot of uh, Namibians are trained uh, at local institutions, and we are also have uh, opportunity to, um, to be trained at uh, the nearest uh, countries, for example, South Africa, Kenya, and so forth, and even abroad. So a lot of Namibians um, gain their qualifications locally, uh, in the neighboring countries, and in foreign countries. Thank you very much. Um, gibt es noch Fragen? Okay, das ist im Moment nicht der Fall. Thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, and I know you are following uh, on uh, the stream. So if there are some more questions, we will find a way to post them to you also later on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.